Hi everybody! Today's look is going to be Bella's makeup from her wedding on Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 1. Um, hopefully I can run through this quick. It's kind of her whole face routine. This side of my face is done. This one just has the foundation and I already applied my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first one I'm going to do is use, she's got kind of, it's a black with a brown and kind of a pink right here and then I added a little shimmer here in the corner um, and she has a little bit of black and brown underneath her on her lower lash line she has nothing on her waterline so we're gonna go ahead and get started and the first thing we're gonna use is kind of a flat shader brush and this is one is for Mary Kay most of these products are drugstore um, to kind of make it a little bit cheaper this is eyes lips face and it's called seductive it's one of their mineral eyeshadows three dollars from their website so I just go ahead and put a little bit in the cap. You're not going to use that much. You're probably just going to want to use what I already have on my brush. So I'm just going to dip this in, tap it off, and we're just going to go over it like this. I'm actually going to do this in the mirror so I can see better. And you're going to kind of go from a little bit darker on the outside and kind of blend it so it gets lighter as you go towards the inner corner. See, and this is pretty much all I'm going to need is just what I already had on my brush. So I didn't even use what was in this cap. So it's just whatever you have, you just need a black, oh, we already have fallout. You just need a black, black matte eyeshadow. You're just going to put that all over your lid. So you can already see it's a little bit darker than what I would like it to be. So what we're going to do in the end is when we go to blend it out, we're going to put a little bit of a lighter shadow on it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to use, and I'm going to use these two, um, they are, this one's Pretty Picnic, and this is called Shopping Spree, and they're new on their website, if you go on the Eyes Lips Face website, they're under their new section, and they're like, to-go palette kind of things, um, so we're going to go ahead and use this one, we're going to use, this is my e.l.f. Contour brush, looks like this, and we're going to go in with this dark shade here on Pretty Picnic. And we're just going to go in, get a little on our brush, and go right in here, right on the crease and a little bit up above. And we're just going to sweep that up. Take a little bit more on your brush. And I always do just a little bit at a time because you can always build. Once you get too much on there, it's a pain to take away, kind of like what I did with my black. So right now we're just we're just kind of placing it right now because we're going to blend it out really good later. So get a little bit more, and I, I am building this because once I do take my blending brush to it, um, it when you blend it out, it, some of it gets taken away. Okay, so we just did this. Just kind of got that brown on there like that. Next, we're going to take this shade, and we're going to go to this... Um, and I'm going to take, it's like a, a pink shade, and what I'm going to take is I'm going to take some of this blush, which is the blush I'm going to use on my face, and this one's called Joy from e.l.f. It's their mineral blushes. I'm going to take some of that on my brush, like that, and we're just going to sweep it on right here. So it's a very light pink color, but it balances out because she has very pink undertones in her skin. She always has that really pretty flushed, like you just got done working out look. So we're going to take a little bit of that pink up here, and you don't want to use a really dark pink. If you use something too dark, it's going to look like your eyes are red, like you've been crying. Um, so you make sure you want to make sure you pick something light on the light summery side. Okay, and we're just going to blend that out. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more on this one, too. Okay, so we've got that done. Okay, so next we're going to go back to our Pretty Picnic. I'm still trying to get used to these. And I'm going to take that same that same brush right here, and I'm just going to... I was going to wipe it off, but I can't find the towel, so I have to get a new one. And I'm just going to wipe it off on an old cloth. These are my makeup cloths that I use. I get them for $5 from Family Dollar for a pack of 25 I wash them once they can't be washed anymore I just toss them so we're gonna go in with this it looks more of a yellow shade it's my skin tone and we're gonna put this right up here as our highlight get a good amount on there really get it to, 
to stand out because again when you blend out it's gonna some of it's gonna be taken away because it's all gonna go into that brush so I'm gonna bring some of it right up here okay next I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of it just like that much it's on the brush it looks like a lot but it's not and I'm actually just gonna pat some of it right over that black and you see what that did that really lightened it up okay so next I'm going to take some of that black color that I just had and I'm just going to use what's left on this Mary Kay brush and I'm just going to run it along my lower lash line. Okay. So you just want a little. You don't want it to be really deep because hers is not deep at all. Okay, and then I'm just going to do this a little, kind of, that fallout's right there, we'll fix that later. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with um, an e.l.f. Professional Defining Eye Brush. Looks like this, it's kind of one of the slanted ones, and we're going to go in with this top shade right here. Again, from the Pretty Picnic palette, and we're just going to get right in here in the inner corner. Now again, in her wedding photo, she doesn't have this shimmery inner corner. Um, her makeup is very plain in it, but I'm also wearing this today, so I kind of want some shimmer there. I like the shimmery look. It really brightens my eyes. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Pretty even. Next, I'm going to take, um, this is the e.l.f. I'm sorry, this is an e.l.f. This is Bedhead. Goodness, we've been using e.l.f. all day. This is the Bedhead by TG. It's the VIP brush, and it's just a really big, very stiff, fluffy brush. Like, it's it's very stiff. It's, it's kind of uncomfortable on your eyes after a while. And I'm just going to go in with this one right here. And I'm going to start right here, very lightly. And I'm just going to blend, blend, blend until I get it right where I want it to be. Go right into that black, bring it up. Blend, blend, blend. I'm going to blend this one a little bit more too. Although I did like how this one turned out. There we go. And then I'm just going to blend a little bit under here. Not too much though. Because um, I don't want that black to run down my face any more than it already has. So there's that. Then we're going to go ahead and fill in our eyebrows. Because as you can see I have this one filled in a little bit. Um, her eyebrows are very dark. Um, in her photo and none of these are very close to me but I'm going to go ahead and go in with this one and then I'm going to go in on the other palette with this one and I'm just going to fill my brows in a little bit and a lot of people use wax beforehand I don't use wax on mine I don't like how the wax feels in my eyebrows and I also use gel when I'm done with mine anyways so I kind of I did kind of a rough draft of filling those in because then I'm going to go ahead and take my Mary Kay brow gel and you can use any kind you want I also have a Maybelline brow gel that I use but this one's almost gone so I want to finish it and we're just going to run it into like this I'm going to just shadow on this one so it looks kind of funny. So I already have my Q-tip ready. And I'm just going to clean up where that powder was. Clean it up really nice. So these are all ready to go. So we did that. Next thing I'm going to do is, um, I've already done, the eye makeup is pretty much done. You can put a little bit of highlighter under here if you want it. But she has a lot of, um, she's got some dark circles under her eyes. So we're just going to curl our lashes. This is an e.l.f. That's an e.l.f. curling, e.l.f. curler. Mascara. This is Clinique's mascara. And then we're going to do the cheeks. Again, we're going to take that joy. And we're just going to put a little bit on the cheeks just to give her a flush. And then for the lips, we're going to use Elf's Berry Blush. 
And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.